All right guys, so do you remember the $100 go-kart thing that I built last summer? Yeah, that one. So I actually ended up trading that thing off for something else, something completely different. Um, probably roughly the same value. Some people might agree, some people might disagree. But um, all in all, I think we did pretty good. So I actually traded that thing off for this guy here. I'm not sure the year yet. I gotta do some research on the numbers, but it started life as one of those Chinese 250cc liquid cooled um, ATV, four wheeler, quad, whatever the hell you wanna call it. Um, kind of out of my realm here but I have owned something similar before I owned a quad runner I forget the year but it was a 125 this one has been uh, repowered with a Suzuki I think it's a 160 the guy told me it was a 185 but I think that block casting says 153 cm uh, to the third power which is cubic centimeters so I think it's a 160 not a 185 not a really big deal I don't don't care that much um, but I believe it's a five speed with reverse uh, it's obviously not without its problems. As you can see, we've got some serious paint peeling, some plastic cracks, which actually this isn't even plastic. As you can tell, it's fiberglass. Tires all hold air. This one does have a plug in it, but the suspension actually works pretty good still. The steering is a little tight, but I think it just needs to be greased up. Um, other than that, uh, there's you know obviously some problems with the way this motor was Frankensteined into this chassis and this actually none of this was the fault of the owner previous to me this guy uh, bought this thing to try to kind of flip it um, so he actually didn't do any of the work to it he just kind of passed it off to me but it needs a new rear sprocket hub I have the sprocket but the hub totally grenaded itself um, whether or not it has something to do with the way it was mounted to the hub because they had spacers in it to because uh, I don't think they had the the sprocket for the engine lined up perfectly for the factory location so I think they spaced the sprocket out not a big deal at least I hope not if I can find a hub then I can get this thing fixed uh, brakes don't work in the front or the rear nothing is connected does have rear suspension I also feel like this brake setup is a little funny I mean look how low it sets it's kind of odd I mean the disc is good the pads look good but, I mean, this thing's obviously been whacked a few times on the trail, and how could it not be? I mean, it's the lowest hanging thing on this entire machine. But it is a Suzuki motor. It's electric start. There's absolutely no pull start, which is kind of disappointing, but the electric start does work. Um, the motor actually does run, which I will get this thing running right now for you guys. I had it running last night uh, very briefly, so hopefully it'll just start right up and not make me look like an asshole. Now the wiring is also something that's been messed with quite a bit. It still has the key switch here on the right, but instead of starting it with the start button here on the handlebar, somebody put a little push button ignition. I'm not sure why they didn't try to adapt it. Probably didn't want to waste their time with figuring out the original wiring harness, but let's see if this thing will run. Turn the fuel on here. So as you can plainly see in here, it actually runs fairly good. A little rattly. Might need some uh, adjustments in the valves. It is smoking a little bit, but I don't know if that's just because it's cold, if that's unburned fuel. It doesn't smell like burning oil. But it wouldn't surprise me if it did burn a little bit of oil. Yeah, uh, the gears do work. I tested it. You see the sprocket there in the middle of your screen. In neutral now. There's first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So yeah, all in all, not too bad. I figure I had probably a little over $300 into that go-kart. So, I mean, I guess that's basically what this thing cost me. I don't know. 
Um, initially, my thoughts were take this thing apart, use all the suspension parts in the engine on my off-road lawnmowers, or build something new. It's just totally insane Frankenstein machine. Um, half lawnmower, half ATV, something along those lines. But um, if I can source the sprocket and actually get this thing up and running as an ATV, I'll probably keep it an ATV. It's not going to replace my lawnmowers, nothing ever will. But um, if I can't find that sprocket hub, maybe I will be tearing this thing apart and using it in little bits and pieces on everything else. But I guess my first priority is to find the parts for this thing. Uh, like I said, it is a Chinese quad, so the parts aren't as easy to find as, say, a Honda or a Yamaha or something like that. I mean, if nothing else, I got a decent engine and some suspension and a frame, uh, as far as I can tell. You guys can go ahead and let me know what you think, good or bad. Um, hopefully you don't think I've betrayed you by getting an ATV. It's not like this is going to replace my tractors and I'm only going to do ATV videos now, so don't worry about that. But let me know what you think. ATV, is it cool, is it not cool? I like the fact it's got a Suzuki motor, that's kind of why I went for it. Um, I was probably going to kill myself in the go-kart anyways, as you could imagine. Uh, but the wife is really excited about this one. I think she wants me to paint it pink and give it to her. So we'll see what happens. Um, just let me know what you think in the comment section below. And uh, well, hopefully we'll do some updates on it soon if I get enough interest in this thing. If not, then whatever. Uh, we'll work on some other stuff instead. See you guys later.